Auckland, well, they have thrown up some very exciting new talent. We've talked about these names, Fikitoa, Timoteo, Yosefa, all weekend. Bryce Heem in the forwards has done a good job too, and well led by Ed Coker, very experienced. Wayne Pivak has done a good job returning to the New Zealand coaching fray. James McPhail has been given the honour of refereeing this match, and in the same glorious conditions that we have had all weekend, the final of the 2011 Pub Charities New Zealand Sevens Tournament is underway here in Queenstown. It's Taranaki against Auckland. Two teams with a lot of class. Unveiling players that we'll hear a lot more of in future. But here's Big Vunisa making a run down the touchline. Warwick Lamert has been a good worker. Good general for the Taranaki side. But here's the first penalty and it's going to go to Auckland. Yeah, I was just wondering, TJ, after the national anthem, which team would have be able to compose themselves first? And Auckland, they lost their kickoff, but very, very well, very, very well in defence. Well, New Zealand sevens captain in the past, Carl Tanana with me. Richard Turner is on the sideline, and Bryce Heem is on the ball, and Bryce Heem heading for the corner. Oh, what a tremendous try! Yeah, good. Great start for Auckland. Bryce Heem playing in the forwards in this tournament just shows there why he's been a star, a new star of the New Zealand Seven set team. And it's in the big games that the big players come to the fore. Well, he's part of the new crop that Gordon Titchens has picked up in the New Zealand Seven squad. And he's under an injury cloud as Bryce Heems, but that doesn't matter now. It's about the mental toughness. Day two, the final, the big show, and he turns up. Bryce Heem, the number three. Well, Carl, you talked about wanting players to back themselves. Well, here's the bloke that does, and he did on that occasion, Bryce Heem. He took the ball, he had a look, and he just backed himself, put the hammer down, and knew he had pace. And isn't it a great asset, Tony, to have a guy with his pace and his size a winger in the in the 15 aside game that brings them that extra ability in the sevens. Well, he ran the ball very hard at the big Taranaki man, Vuni Sa, and got past him. So Timoteo, he couldn't convert the try, kicks off, and Bryce Heem back in the play, doing very well to pluck the ball out of the air. Ed Coker emerges with it. Tries to get the fend going on Jackson Orman, then gets it away to Fiti Toa. Now it's Timoteo to Itonga now. Takes a couple to wrap him up, and they'll try and hold him up off the ground too. You can see their Bowden Barrett working hard to try and keep him up, and eventually they get the penalty. Holding on. He's not a big man of stature, is he, Lemert? But he did well there, and Bowden Barrett coming and supported him to keep the ball up and got the turnover. Oh, Barrett, whose gliding runs have been a feature of this tournament. He took the tap. Lemert moves the ball on wide, and now here's Jackson Orman looking for a hole. Has to roll the ball behind him. Lemert can't free it. Release him before you go for the ball. A penalty. James here. McPhail just imposing his authority early. Kane Barrett takes it. Pops it away to Bowden Barrett. Now they get it wide. Kylan O'Donnell. Wheeling back the other way as Tui Tonga comes at him, flings him to the ground. But they've still got it. Kane Barrett now. Runs hard at the defence, almost through. Card off load, but he's got play to the 22. Bit loose though, or oh, nicely trapped, brilliantly trapped by Cody Ray for Taranaki. Ball on the ground, and both teams scrapping for it, but Taranaki have got it. Auckland are offside. He's got it away to Bodine Barrett now. And he floats, almost gets through, pops the ball, and there's a Vunisa! Makes amends, he missed the tackle when Auckland scored, but he finishes off in more brilliant work in the lead-up from Bodine Barrett. He was hanging out on the wing. The big fella, Vunisa, and Auckland, they rushed up in the fence as they had to. Number four, Timoteo, come right in. They got the ball away in the tackle to the Taranaki offense. Vunisa was the one who got it just off the deck there. This is where he wasn't really committed, was he? How's that for a bit of skill, though? 
from Cody Ray. Here's the try here. Just a little pass here to the big man. Like that, just through the back door. Showtime. No defence for that. And Cody Ray, the captain, has converted the try. And so Taranaki have taken the lead. And they get the ball back. No, what didn't go 10. Ned Coke is down to contesting for that ball. I think he took a knock to the chin there. We well, collided with his own player, Carl. Came through at pace. Saw the ball coming. Wanted to continue to play it. But they get the restart. Free restart on halfway Auckland. It's to Tonga. Dummies one way. And then floats the pass wide to Yosepo. He's quick, this fellow. Into the hole. Step it up. Something out of nothing. That's a magic play from Yosefo. Tom Yosefo, whose speed has been a real feature this weekend, and Auckland are back in front. Just a little hesitation. He saw the mismatch. It was Kane Barrett, the big number one for Taranaki. Yosefo was always going to have a go at him. Just turned his back. Bit his time. And in the end, he just got caught flat-footed to Kane Barrett. No space to work in whatsoever. But it's the speed off the mark that does. You can see he has it here. Little step inside, too easy. Another left foot step and just off the well, How good the swerve, Carl. He would have been proud of that. A swerve to beat the sweeper. Impressive. So it's 12-7. Still got four minutes to play in the first half. Ten minutes each way in the final. And uh, Timoteo with the restart. It's it nice and high. And oh, great chasing again from him. Although this time, Vunisa has brought it down. O'Donnell fires it away to Barrett, Lamert, and uh, Barrett now looking to glide into a hole. And he's ruled a knock on there. It was hack the head downfield for Taranaki by Cody Ray. And the referee said the attempted offload went forward. James McPhail, and so Auckland will get a scrum feed. I think they're just playing into the hands of Auckland at the moment. The Taranaki team they're trying to go wide and play. Away from their strings, which is their fourth yeah, pack. Vinny Sark, Kane Barrett, let the big boys run up the smaller players of the Auckland team, draw them in, and then go wide and look to get it to Orman. Okay, crouch, touch, pause, engage. Yosefo puts it in and scampers off, puts a little kick ahead. No sweeper at the back. Yosefo oh, didn't get the bounce. And uh, O'Donnell picks it up. So well, Taranaki have it, although. Close to their own goal line now. Maybe a chance to run it out. It's uh, Cody Ray. In fact, O'Donnell who bought it away. And uh, Lemert tried to tow it back towards one of his teammates. In the end, they'll get the result. It's Vinny Sart. Right place at the right time as the ball ricocheted towards him. Now Kane Barrett. It's the Fen going. Beats the first man. Gets it away to Bodine Barrett. And ghosting into the gap. Only Ed Coker. And he's got no show. He's brilliant, this fellow. He is a real star on the rise. Bowden Barrett. And that's what they need to do. Big men run in at small men, and that's exactly what Kane Barrett did. Went on the outside of the Auckland defence. Just a great line by Bowden Barrett. He is a star in the making in both versions, versions 15s and 7s, this guy. Well, Gordon Titchens would love to pick him for the New Zealand side, but he can't because he's tied to the New Zealand under-20s. And they get priority. The kick's gone over. And, well, the lead continues to change hands. Now it's the Naki in front, 14 to 12. Look at this. He always makes it look so easy. There was not much of a gap, KT. Indeed, just the angle that he hit. It was outstanding, but it came from the pass because Josefa that got caught up in the line, usually in the sweeper role. There was no one at the back. Ed Coker tried his best coming from the far side. Cody Ray with the restart. He can't take that great challenge from uh, Vuni Saar. Those two are having a very good battle at the restarts. Taranaki, looks like they've got some sort of advantage here. It's a penalty advantage, and Vuni Saar loses the ball. Yeah, Heem came in, incorrect entry into that mall, fellas. So Taranaki, great opportunity again to go back to back. O'Donnell takes it, fires it off to Barrett. 
Happy to take the ball to the line. Then Kane Barrett punching onto it. Gets the offload away. O'Donnell on it goes to Lamert. Oh, good strength. Now Bowden Barrett quickly on. They've still got it. Orman floats it wide. Here's a chance. It's another one. The captain's over. Cody Ray scores for Taranaki. Well constructed try there from the Taranaki team. Hot on attack, everyone involved, Lamert, outstanding. Just keeping the continuity going, using his strength and his vision to get it out. The back door, see where the space was. And it was on the right-hand side where Cody Ray was looming. They had an advantage from a tackle. It's pretty innocuous, I think the referee was just there to go give him a warning. Yeah, let's go, mate. Let's go. And just getting the hurry up there. He's been a very good influence on this team, has Cody Ray. Not a demonstrative sort of a player. But he's been doing his job nicely at half time, 19-12 KT. Good time to strike just before the break. Yes, indeed, but still a long way to go.